Hello beautiful people, welcome to the channel. Reverend Debbie here, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is actually my CV, my curriculum vitae, because I have been accused of never doing a hard day's work in my life. So I thought I'd let you know um, actually where I've worked and the jobs, the types of jobs, the different types of jobs, many different jobs that I've done, as well as setting up two of my own businesses with no help, no handouts and no loans. It was done purely off of my own back. So, my first ever job was during the uh, school holidays in just before my final year of school. I went on to matriculate, which is the same as A-levels here in the UK. And um, I worked at a company called Console Glass as a receptionist typist. After I left school, I started modeling. I also sang in a band for a while, not earning any money. I then went to work for a company called CNA, Central News Agency, in South Africa. And I worked in the record bar at the time, which was the sort of music section of um, the shop. It was like a news agent, so they sold all sorts. A bit like WH Smith here in the UK, but they also saw, sold record CDs and cassettes. Now, back when I started working, CDs were relatively new, so it was mostly records that were sold. I then went on to work for a company called Look and Listen, which was based in Hillbrow, Johannesburg, where I also, it was a music shop, worked there for a while and was then recruited by a company called Musica, which was a, um, a music chain similar to HMV in South Africa. I worked for them for a number of years. I started off as a, you know, a normal sort of uh, shop worker, a store worker, and moved on to um, be store manager and eventually to be an area manager for that company. I then moved from Johannesburg to Cape Town. In Cape Town, that's a whole other story, so I'm not going to talk about that. But when I moved back to Johannesburg two years later, I started working for a courier and freight company in uh, Johannesburg. And um, I started off as a filing clerk, part time. Ten years later, I was an IT support manager. I don't know how because I'm useless with IT, but I'm a pretty good manager. But I worked through that company. I worked through the ranks. I, I didn't. I wasn't just promoted. I was filing clerk. Then I worked in a call centre, and then I worked um, with quality assurance. I worked with disaster recovery. Pretty much worked in most departments of that company also did deliveries. Um, I was an account executive, basically a fancy word for a sales executive, going out uh, specific accounts, big accounts that, that um, you know, you looked after and managed. Then I, I left there and I started my own business in South Africa called Wolf Moon Salon. Um, not much about this online because this was in the days of dial-up modem. You know, I didn't have a website. The speed just didn't exist for that back then. Um, then I decided to move back to the UK. It was a, a spiritual decision, a personal decision. I moved back here on my own. Okay, so I moved here on my own, having to find a house, uh, a job, a car, etc., etc., etc. You know, how many people move on their own? Most people emigrate with a family. I didn't. I did it on my own. I was born in the UK, by the way. We moved out to South Africa in 1982 and I moved back in 2006. So when I moved here, I started working in a local pub and at a local hotel. So I was working 16 hour days. I was working two shifts, uh, morning shift at the hotel, a breakfast shift and then evening shift at the um, pub. So my morning shift will go till three, 3 p.m and I'd have two hours to get home, soak my feet, and then put fresh socks and shoes on, thank goodness it was the same uniform, and go and stand behind the bar serving drunken men all night and putting up with their antics. I then managed to find a, a job that was more in the vein of what I was used to, um, which was working for a radiator firm, capturing data and speaking to customers. I then found a job at a design firm where I worked as an account executive again, but this was more telephone, doing things in the office, not really going out and seeing people, although I did go out to some breakfast things and that sort of thing. 
and eventually I opened my own yoga studio, Rainbow Yoga, on my own, with no money, my own money. That's it. No loans from banks or businesses, my own work. I was teaching 12 yoga classes a week. I was also practicing Reiki on clients who would come to see me in between the yoga classes. And I was also doing tarot readings. So my job basically started at 10 a.m. and went on till 10 p.m. I did my own cleaning, my own um, merchandising. I bought stock. I did my own advertising. I wrote all my class plans. You know, the studying that I did for that, I am a qualified yoga instructor. I am a Reiki master and I am a minister. I was ordained as a minister in South Africa. I need to get the um, photographs off of the CD that they're on and post them on my YouTube channel so you can actually see that I really am a minister, that it's not fake. Because often I get asked, but how can you be a minister? You're not Christian. We have ministers in all faiths, don't we? And, you know, so what difference does it make if I'm a pagan minister? I perform hand fastings, naming ceremonies and funeral rites, as well as our seasonal and uh, rituals through the year. And I'm going to do a whole separate video on, on that because that's another uh, box of, well, Pandora's box of, of things that I need to discuss and talk about because I have so many interests in so many different things. I then closed my business due to ill health and I have had to recover from the ill health. Unfortunately, my problems will never go. They will always be with me and they will worsen over time. But that's okay because now, as I said, I'm studying psychology and hopefully I am going to be able to work with the mentally ill through the NHS. So again, I shall be paying my national insurance into the system, which I did while I was working, including with my own business. I did all my own accounting and all my own books. So, you know, I didn't have people working for me. I worked for myself. So for those of you who think that I've never worked a day in my life or never done any hard work, think again. Okay. Blessings to all of you.